Hey there everyone, my name is Matt Heimlich, and welcome to this third and final part in the Blender to Quixel workflow primer. This part is just going to be a really quick overview of the Quixel shader for cycles that's going to be provided with this video. Uh, it really is as simple as just taking the textures that we've created in Quixel and plugging them right into the shader. As you can see, we're back in Blender now. I've loaded up all of my textures, and what you see here is just the Blender viewport preview. I'm going to be demoing the setup of this shader on this jacket object. If we take a look over here on the right, we can see the material node editor. And at the top, you can see that the node is called Quixel Shader. If we go ahead and open this group up, you can kind of take a look at what's going on inside, but it's beyond the scope of this video, so we're not going to look really specifically into what's happening here. I've designed this node to be very plug and play, but if you're interested, you're more than welcome to open it up with the tab key and take a look at what's going on behind the scenes. As you can see in the top image node, we have our diffuse color loaded in, which we then plug right into the albedo socket on the shader. Below this is the normal texture. On my screen you can see that there's some additional stuff going on here. This is due to the fact that originally the cycles export had normal channels flipped, but this has been fixed in the newest version, so you can ignore this. Below that, the other two textures that we've created for this object are plugged into their respective slots. The shader itself has slots for albedo, normal, bump, roughness, reflection and specular color, reflection at normal, and metalness. Most material definitions should be expressible with these values. The only thing that doesn't use the Quixel shader in this scene is the skin. Unfortunately, I can't just share this shader because it is something that I sell, but if you're interested in checking it out, you can go over to blendermarket.com and give it a look. With everything set up, we're going to go ahead and do a render. This concludes the Blender to Quixel workflow primer. Thanks for watching.